Recently I attended an exhibition named Bubble Bulge Bleb in the University's Life Space Building. This exhibition highlighted the work of the artist Andy Lomas, sculptor Bruce Durand and various other artists. These artists had created their works based on the theories and ideas of Darcy Thompson. Darcy Thompson was Dundee's first professor of biology. He was interested in the forms things take and the forces on them and the processes of the transformation of those forms. The background diagrams throughout the exhibition are all shapes and they represent Darcy Thompson's idea about the effect of forces on shapes. So these diagrams display how the shape has changed after a force has acted upon it. The exhibition was intended to show the relation between the work of scientists and artists as they often both use similar mathematical modelling processes and tools. Currently there is a movement to try and forge a relationship between scientists and artists in order to achieve a collaboration to allow the two to work together more often. For me this resembled a real life construction of interdisciplinary learning and shows how valuable this learning style is in order for children to use their transferable skills throughout their lives. Part of the exhibition was a spirograph display where a pendulum laser was pointed at a turntable which was covered in a specific kind of paper to create random spirograph patterns. The artist had used the spirograph to create a different image every time, as due to the conditions which were set, nothing was consistent, for example the turntable speed or the way in which the laser swings. For me, I interpreted this as a way of showing that not everything has to be perfect. In both science and art, mistakes can be made, but these can end up being the most important works. The display was intended to eliminate the repetitiveness of machines and the way in which they produce the same output for every process. This elimination of perfectionism and desire for everything to be the same and correct allows for a free range of investigation and exploration within both science and art.